everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be taking you guys to pyramid point housing development in the beautiful ultra rio saint anne so for those of you who don't know ultra rios is a tourism hotspot here in jamaica it has some of the most beautiful beaches on the island and it's also home to the world-renowned duns river falls and guys i wanted to take some time to say thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed to the channel i really really appreciate it i'm still on my journey to my first 1000 subscribers so if you'd like to help me out there please go ahead and click the subscribe button it only takes a couple seconds and of course it's a hundred percent free guys so i appreciate that um thank you so much so without any more talk without further ado let's jump right into the tour the pyramid point housing development is a gated community they have two different style units available first is the two bedroom two and a half bathroom unit which is being sold for 255 000 us dollars that unit is 1367 square feet the second option is the three bedroom three and a half bathroom house which is being sold for 280,000 US dollars that property is 1,662 square feet all these details and more will be in the description box all right so as we enter through the front door we see that we have an open concept living and dining room all right, so I wanted to point out the ceilings. I um, love the ceiling design and we have recessed lights going around our ceiling. Also really loving this light feature right here. All right, so right now the living room is staged with a sectional and there's also space along this wall for you to hang your TV. So going along, we have the dining room. And the dining room, as you can see, it can easily fit a four person dining room table also i wanted to point out the windows so we have one window here in the dining room and then another two windows down here and guys the blinds that we're seeing are actually a part of the unit so each unit is will have these blinds all right so let's head over to the kitchen so first i want to point out that the countertops are made of quartz um really good material and these are our cupboards so we have cupboards going all around upper cupboards and these are our lower cupboards i love the dark finishing that they did on the cupboards as well there's a really cool feature i wanted to point out so the lower cupboards here we actually have a lazy susan so first i'm seeing this in um any other homes that i've viewed in jamaica so far very nice touch and then we have our dual sink right here and they also gave us another feature here as well and this extends out um very modern faucets um we also have our kitchen window right here so you can have a view outside while you're doing the dishes all right so also wanted to point out that the kitchen is staged with a four sorry six burner stove so you have an idea of what can fit also the hood right here comes standard in all the units all right we also have a two-door refrigerator which is pretty standard right now and right beside it is our pantry all right so overall i love how much space they gave with the kitchen a lot of storage space loving it also before we move on from the kitchen almost missed this beauty right here they also gave us a pendulum lighting um feature right above the countertop here so in addition to the dining room seating you could also put some stools along here and use it as a eating area Take 
take a look at the powder room. So the powder room, we have a floating vanity, just like we were seeing in the first bathroom. And we have our mirror right here and our soft clothes toilet feature. I'd like to point out that I am not a realtor, so I don't make commission of the tours that I do. So if you would like to support my channel, you can do so by subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. All right, so heading from the living room now, um, this is the first bedroom. All right, so this bedroom has a queen size bed and it has a beautiful matching chester draw. Um, the unit also has AC installed. Um, each house will come wired for AC However, you would have to pay for the installation. Also, you can pay an extra, I believe it's $200,000 and have the developer install the AC units for you. So in addition to that, we have our windows. We have a big window here and then two vertical windows along this wall. All right, um, this also stayed with a side table. So we get a good idea of what we can fit in the space. Along this wall here, you have space to mount your television. Also wanted to take a look at the ceiling. So each unit in this development comes with a ceiling fan. So that is a great touch. So this is the walk-in closet. Um, it's a little bit dark. <laughs> yes, but we can still get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, we have some built-in storage, there's space to hang, and there are some shelves along the wall right there. So that is the closet. So right now we're going to take a look at the bathroom. So this is the ensuite bathroom, guys. Uh, we have a floating vanity, of course, very modern touch. Um, loving the floor to ceiling wall tiles that go all throughout. The bathroom we also have a standard mirror right here and this is our soft clothes um, toilet and we have a bathroom mirror right there to let in some light um, let's just focus a little bit on the walk-in shower so yes this is the shower and of course we have our rain shower head and there's also a handheld attachment as well Alright, so last feature is the towel rack right here. So guys, this is our bathroom. So now I'm heading down this hallway and we're going to look at the master bedroom. So heading into the master bedroom, uh, this is what it's looking like, right? So we have a king size bed in here right now and a chest of drawer. And it also has side tables and they added an accent here. So we get to see what, um, what the room can fit, right? And there's also space in, in this room as well for you to mount your TV. I know a lot of persons these days like to do that. Um, we have our ceiling fan as well. And we have the same ceiling design with the recessed lights going around, like what we're seeing in the other bedrooms. So over here, we have our walk-in closet. Right, so it's a little bit dark, but I think we should be able to see it. So we have some built-in storage and um, plenty of space to hang our wardrobe. Right, so heading now to the bathroom, we have a floating vanity with dual sink, perfect for a couple. And we have a very big mirror along here. So shouldn't have any fighting or anything when it's time to get ready in the mornings. Um, of course, we have our toilet and this bathroom has a tub. All right. So that is what we're looking like. You can also get a view of the backyard from this window as well. 
and of course we have a shovel the towel rack sorry and the wall tiles going all throughout the bathroom all right going from the master bedroom now um this is the laundry room right this is a very spacious laundry room that's the first thing that i want to say this laundry room could double as a small office maybe a kiddies room um it has a lot of potential so of course we have our sink right here pretty deep sink loving that we also have some cupboards as well so we can get some storage and they also added some floating shelves and then of course you have more than enough space for your washer and dryer sets so guys this is this is the laundry room very very spacious <laughs> All right, so entering this unit, we have a similar design to the first unit that we're looking at. Open concept, living and dining room. Um, this house is a little bit bigger. Um, so this one is stayed with a two-piece sectional. And of course, we have space for our TV and the TV stand. The three-bedroom unit also has this door to the side. The other unit did not. So we have an extra exit right so similarly we have a four person dining room um i'm thinking if we had a smaller table maybe a different design it could also fit a six person dining room table but that's just my personal opinion and there's space as well for your wall decor setting over to the kitchen now um of course this one is staged with some stools here because of course you could use this countertop as an eating area and we have our pendulum lighting as well so this is our kitchen right and uh, this um kitchen here we have a five burner stove um the stove in the other unit was different and of course it has the hood all right so this is what the kitchen is looking like very similar to the first unit all right so now i'm just walking back and we're going to look at the master bedroom so for this unit the master bedroom is um at the front of the house so we are seeing here which has a king size bed um it fits fits nicely it doesn't look cramped um, it also has um, two side tables as well so we can see you know what this room can fit also has a chest of drawer right here and again I want to point out that even with all the furniture the room is still spacious there's enough room to walk around right so we have our windows as well um, guys also wanted to point out the burglar bars so the standard it's the standard unit sorry does not come with burglar bars um, however you can pay um, an additional sum of money to have them installed for you right so now let's take a look at the bathroom so in our master we have our floating vanity with our Jack and Jill Jack and Jill style um, or some person would say you know a dual sink all right, so we have our mirror right here as well and our walk-in shower with the lovely rain rain shower head and a handheld attachment very modern very elegant and a similar design toilet to what we were seeing in the first units that we looked at and of course this bathroom is tiled on all the walls so heading from the bathroom, we are going to take a look at the walk-in closet. And guys, this is the closet, All right? So we have some dark finishes, just like we were seeing on the kitchen cupboards. Um, there's plenty of space in here. I don't want to go in just because it's a bit dark. So we have some shelves along here and plenty of cupboard storage up top and some space to hang our clothing. So now we're going to take a look at the other bedrooms. All right, so I'm walking along here and passing the kitchen right now. And I'm going down the corridor to take a look at 
this bedroom at the back this is the second bedroom right so this bedroom is also quite spacious so it has a king size bed two side tables um there's also a tripod lamp over here as well um of course there's the ac and there is the standard ceiling fan this is what the closet looks like so we have some built-in storage going across there and we have some shelves and some drawers right here also love that we have a mirror built in as well for those of us who like to you know get dressed and um look at ourselves a lot like me loving the mirrors so yes guys this is the bedroom also have some windows over here um to let in some light so now let's go look at the ensuite bathroom All right so in this bathroom we have a tub so that's what it's looking like very elegant loving the tiles and we have our floating vanity um, this room only has a single sink and of course this is our mirror right here we have a toilet and a bathroom window let's look at the view um, you guess that it's a side view of the house from here right okay so now we're heading from this bedroom we're going out and right across here we have the second sorry the third bedroom right so this is the third bedroom the final bedroom and this room i'm thinking this is actually the smallest room um in the house right so this is the view right here uh, so instead of having this mirror along here of course you could put your tv along this wall all right so this is a queen size bed as well fits very easy and it also has a side table um the closet in this room is similar to the room we just left actually the closet is identical so we have the cupboard storage up top and the shelves and the mirrors right actually these mirrors are full length so that's good and of course we have our windows so we have these two vertical windows here and a large window here to the side all right so now let's go ahead and look at the bathroom so we have a floating vanity of course the vanity has some extra um, drawers right here and this bathroom has a walk-in shower with the glass shower casing and this is what our shower head is looking like and our faucets very nice and of course let's look through the window all right so we're getting another side view of the house all right so I wanted to point out as well that all the bathrooms that we've seen have wall tiles going throughout <laughs> all right so heading out now from the last bathroom we have our powder room let me see if i can get the light all right so this is the powder room um we have our floating vanity and our toilet and a mirror and very similar tile design to what we're seeing throughout the rest of the house okay so heading from the powder room we have our laundry room so this room is also pretty spacious um so that's the area of course for the washer it's already the piping is already there uh, they gave some floating shelves um of course we have a sink i'm um, pretty standard for a laundry room and they also added some cupboards down here as well which i think is a very very nice touch so overall very spacious laundry room all right so if we go through this back door right here this will take us to the backyard all right so just like the unit i showed first um, you're not permitted to make any additions to the back of the house or to any of the house really all right so i wanted to point out as well that with the three bedrooms there is a spiral 
staircase that leads to the roof so actually let's go take a look at that so let's see what the view is like up there all right so this is what we are looking like so this is a pretty decent view guys so you can pretty much see throughout the community and, and let me just get some of this view for you guys and we have the condenser units for the ac are up here as well nicely tucked away upon completion the pyramid point housing development will have a clubhouse the clubhouse will have an infinity pool and a gym in addition there's also a space allocated for a mini mart and they will also have a few restaurants as well thank you so much for watching as usual if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe i will see you all in the next video